Hi everybody, Brady here from uh, Brady BGWX. Um, I'm going to try to do a quick update here on uh, Hurricane Milton. I apologize if some of the speech sounds a little off or um, just like slow pauses in between. I'm currently dealing with some health issues, but um, I really wanted to provide a quick update for you guys over video rather than just um, text online. Um, it makes it uh, a little bit, a little bit easier to for you guys to understand, uh, kind of where my thoughts are currently, um, and so yeah, let's get into it. Currently, 902 millibars, 165 miles per hour, um, the strongest storm on the planet right now. Uh, very, very uh, concerned about Florida, and we'll get into that in a second. Um, but if we look at it currently on satellite, it is of you know, of, you know, no misunderstanding that it definitely has the pres presentation of a Category 5 hurricane. You know, one could argue maybe even got up to 175, um, but the National Hurricane Center did not think uh, there was enough evidence to support that, um, which is not, you know, a hot take or anything. Just 165, 902 millibars uh, looks like possibly the second peak. Uh, but now we take a look here. At recon, we can see a little bit of a, just a little bit more weakening as it might be starting to undergo a little bit of an eye wall replacement cycle. At least the beginning stage is likely maxing out, um, near maxing out what it can take in the environment, its MPI, and then undergoing some structural changes and potentially the beginning of an eye wall replacement cycle. If we switch here, um, you can see that the eye has been cooling over the past couple of hours um it was up to as high as 18 and 19 degrees on satellite and now you can see it actually just dropped below zero degrees uh, again celsius so it is currently cooling the eye it's contracting um some signs of outer bands on radar um so i i have i'd assume that a merger or a eye wall replacement cycle or something of the two is possibly imminent uh, at some point at some point tonight we'll see that take place but then after that um you know many models trying to suggest that it will re-strengthen just a little bit or in that later tonight early morning depending on how quickly this goes um and then from there it gets taken and you know really gets pulled into the jet stream and we will see uh start to lose some tropical characteristics and will weaken and as you can see the core will kind of get overran by a uh, here the core will kind of get uh, wrapped in with dry air and that's a no-no for uh, tropical systems that rely on moisture and being a warm core system um, and once you start to get some of those extra tropical characteristics it makes it hard for that storm to even uh, maintain strength let alone strength and um, depending on where it is with the jet stream but you know, it's taking it took advantage of the interaction with the jet stream today, and possibly again, it's could tonight. Um, and it's going to go over that warmer eddy of water in terms of, um, you know, uh, in terms of ocean temperatures, and you can kind of see that a little bit here where it goes from, you know, just for example, nine twenty four back to nine eighteen. So could be a period early tomorrow morning of uh, of a little bit of strengthening as well, depending on what goes on tonight with an eye wall replacement cycle i will say if it does complete an eye wall replacement cycle before um you know kind of wants to get pulled 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 apart a little bit by wind shear and dry air then it will make it harder for the storm to break down and that uh, puts more of an imminent wind threat on the coast um of florida from tampa down to um, naples depending on where we see um you know, Naples is a bit south. Naples more of a surge threat, but wherever we see that wind threat, you know, from uh, you know from Tampa to Cape Corral, where that strongest um, threat for being along the Iowa will be, um, there could be more damage there. And so it really will come down to exactly, you know, the interaction with the jet stream um, and where that gets pulled into um, in turn the, into the coast. Uh, so that we will from there, a little bit too hard to tell right now, but somewhere around tampa or just south um, is likely the location of landfall hard to pinpoint where again just to the south of that point 
can be the greatest threat for surge. So if it makes landfall just north of Tampa, that puts Tampa in, in the main surge, surge zone, and that will be very catastrophic for that area, especially, and the same could be said further south if it landfalls further south. So that is the main concern currently right now. Um, you know, the worst case scenario would be it wraps up, does an eyewall replacement cycle extremely fast overnight, strength completes, strengthens a little bit more tomorrow morning um, before it can develop a solid core, or, or sorry, and then it has a solid core and a strengthen a little bit more, and it'll make it harder to weaken that storm, so it'll probably maintain, you know, at least, you know, mid-grade uh, category four status that if that were to happen um but somewhere around category three category four strength likely at landfall but it's going to be a category five level surge um so that's the main concern probably 10 to 15 maybe even 20 feet of surge depending um you know is, is probably likely national hurricane center calling for 10 to 15 feet of surge right now um so, and you know there's going to be some really strong wind gusts inland as well orlando could you know rival some of your records in terms of peak wind gusts um, but it is definitely this is going to be a uh, a, a drastic uh, it's a drastic dire situation unfolding and you know we're gonna this is going to be one of the worst storms you know in U.S. history probably in terms of the devastation. Um, it will be catastrophic. So I really hope people have evacuated friends and family. This is tonight's really your last shot to do so. Um, if, you, if you want to, um, if you can't afford the money to, there are shelters that are open as well. Or in a worst case scenario, you can move somewhere away from the coast where you'll still be in the hurricane's path, um, but at least you'll be safe from wind damage or from storm surge which will no doubt um wipe away homes off their foundations completely um that are right along the coast and just to the south of where this makes landfall this will be very catastrophic so i hope people are taking and, and heeding to the warnings and the evacuation orders that are in place um that is all i have for now i will continue to provide updates on twitter um stay safe everybody Peace.